Have you seen Armageddon? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you seen uh, Day After Tomorrow? Day After Tomorrow. That's the one where... What happens in that one? Uh, I think the most notable thing is like it gets so cold that it, people start freezing instantly. It's like a bunch of weather oh, yeah. related um, stuff. What's his name? The actor who's in Enemy Mine uh, is the dad in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget uh, his name. Oh, I can't think of it. <laughs> oh, Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I love him. Yeah, Dennis Quaid is great. Uh, what about, since we're talking about sort of natural disaster movies, mm-hmm. the new one, Moonfall. It just came out moonfall the one where the moon falls where the moon falls. i haven't seen that one no. we don't have to watch it because that's exactly what we know right yeah <laughs> they movie gave over. it away in the title the moon falls the end but that what's cool i think is that i haven't seen that one either so it'd be fun this may even be the i'm pretty sure there's a first video we're going to do on the channel where mm. i have also not seen the movie it's it's usually always carlos Right, right, right. So, cool. yeah, we'll do a yeah. blind reaction. Both of I us. love that. <laughs> Sweet. What do we already know about it? Uh, well, the moon falls. Yes. Uh, as the title implies. Well, who knows? That's true. This it might be, be a Shyamalan where it's not actually. <laughs> t- turns out the moon doesn't. It's not fall. actually the moon. It's, it's just, just a regular boring movie. Yeah, it's just a wheel of cheese. It's very close. <laughs> um. Yeah, I honestly don't think I know anything else about this movie other than it came out i wanted to see it and i didn't go see it so i'm glad i'm watching it now okay i'm glad we're gonna watch it yeah five seconds ago i i found out halle berry is in this right i don't think i've seen halle berry in a movie since like the bond movie she did well uh let's do it let's just get right into it and watch moonfall moonfall So you said that the director of this also directed the the Independence Day sequel. Well, the original Independence Day. Oh, too. he did. Yeah, Roland Emmerich. Okay, so he did both. Yeah. And then what was the other one that I saw that he did? Um, oh, Stargate. Stargate. The original Stargate movie. Original Stargate. And then yeah, he made his living making disaster movies in the mid two thousands, and this is the latest one. So okay, we'll see. Okay. Oh, he did twenty twelve. Remember that. John Cusack? John Cusack? Yeah. Yeah. I barely remember that movie. Yeah. Just giant tidal waves, and that's about it. Gotta play the copywritten music backwards. <laughs> you know there was some computer program that they made that was supposed to like listen to songs and determine what was the most perfect song ever written? Toto's <laughs> Africa done. was the one considered by a computer to be the perfect song. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's definitive. Yeah. You can't dance to save your life. Anyone ever tell you guys you bigger like a like an old married couple? She's my work wife. Have you ever had a work wife? No. <laughs> I would like to thank you for spending your honeymoon in space with us. It is either space or Italy. Italy doesn't beat this one. I mean the food's better. True. Nothing like dehydrated astronaut food, right? Dehydrated carbonara. <laughs> it's a symbiote? Yeah, carnage. Yeah. I thought they were about to get bitch slapped by the moon. <laughs> moon Three main quick. actors dead immediately. Mm. Is his name Brunyan? Is that what he just said? Funyan! Funyan, no. <laughs> Yeah, I thought they were going to do a Westworld thing. The original Westworld, mm. the film in the 70s, mm-hmm. the main actor, or at least the person you think is the main character, is killed in like the first five minutes. And you're like, holy crap, oh, what damn. is this? <laughs> it's so awesome. I feel like it's the first movie that really did that. I love it when movies just like completely throw out the first character they introduce. Yep. Or shows do that too. Is she just chilling back there? She might be dead. I wasn't paying attention <laughs> just then. I do want to point out that the ship was spinning, but she wasn't. And I know we're looking for scientific accuracy in no, this of film. Of course. This is yeah. a documentary after all. <laughs> Any movie where they do handheld shots, I consider a documentary at that point. <laughs> right. I'm I'm completely convinced. Yeah. I don't 
Jersey. <laughs> Damn, kid's got a point. Uh, yeah, you're not alone, kid. Is there like a deck of cards that screenwriters use where like one of the 10 opening settings is we're moving? Like, right. <laughs> Feels yeah, like, they just shuffle them and then pull them out. All right, we're doing this. Ah, we're doing the one where they're moving. Yep. Wasn't that uh, Samuel uh, Tarly. Tarly from Game of Thrones? Yeah. It's one of those actors that, like, if you became famous for a role, I, I can't not see you as that person. 100%. Like this, it's like Daniel Radcliffe. Right. Maybe it's just British actors then with glasses. Oh, crap. oh yeah, I'm still tracking our moon's orbit. Would you mind sending last night's scans? Adios. Did he pull a Doctor House and he was British first? And well, I he... think he was doing an American accent just now. Yeah. Like yeah. You're seven and a half minutes late. I have to write this up. Hello there. Hi. What can I get you? I'd like a pastrami madness. And I would also like My grandfather had pastrami madness. <laughs> Never recovered. Oh, poor guy. It's terminal. Yeah. I need you to patch me through to the director of NASA immediately. Honey, I sell t shirts and toys. <laughs> he called the gift shop? Yeah. They're <laughs> like, open at nine PM too, Kennedy. I guess. <laughs> I got the Kennedy Center gift shop on speed dial. <laughs> for just this occasion. I need bobblehead stat. So, he was the one to discover that the moon is falling? <laughs> he was the only person checking on that? Yeah, between pastrami madnesses. <laughs> so, the moon's been orbiting around the Earth for billions of years, and now you're telling me it's changed its course? Yes. What would Elon do? Ugh. Of course. Uh, how many times have I told you to use the litter box? That's what Elon would do. Mm. Piss outside the litter box. <laughs> it's a real honor. I'm sorry, who are you? I, I've made a shocking discovery. I need you to get me in touch with NASA immediately. Didn't you sell me a burger the other day? <laughs> a pastrami madness, in fact. <laughs> moon madness. There must be something wrong with the moon's power source. Hey, fellas, I need this guy escorted off the premises for impersonating me and creeping out a bunch of school kids. Okay. Read this! <laughs> oh, is this a butt dial? Put on channel 16. She's like a budget Patricia Arquette. Yeah. This guy's got a 60-year-old TV. <laughs> hey, mid-century modern, okay? <laughs> it's in. You see her? They finally captured Hansen. Wait, was that his son? Did I miss that? I don't think they explained who that is. Mm. So, Your Honor, those drugs weren't his. They were just his buddies. They were on the Quiet in my court. Excuse the actions of my client's father. You can't put him in jail for a week. Please, I'm begging you. There's so much plot happening. <laughs> this is crazy. We should... Your lawyer was doing nothing. Who's on a fifty thousand dollar retainer? I thought money Money's no money. object. Oh, I say, hey, <laughs> there you go. Called it. Nice move. When you go to outer space, stay far away from us. Guys, he tried that once. Trying to help <laughs> oh, wait, Brian's trying to help Sonny since when? Brenda, honestly, what do you see in this schlock? Are oh, wait, so they're divorced. Right. Moved out when so he's got right. a teenage kid from, and then they the have previous a previous marriage, right? But younger, sm smaller son. Yeah. I don't know. Well, as long as he saves all of them. Mm. As long as he catches the moon, yeah. he'll prove himself. <laughs> Someone will listen to me. Then make them. Make them listen. Make them all Reuben Madnesses. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you new here? No, Casey. Your son. <laughs> she had one too many pierogi madnesses or whatever. <laughs> I like how we keep changing what they're <laughs> yeah. made of. Yeah. Gabagool <laughs> madness. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who do you think is gonna play the president i was just gonna ask <laughs> are they gonna do like a trump thing or are they gonna stick with obama there was this period where like people didn't know who to depict as the president for a while <laughs> wait wasn't morgan freeman the president in some other disaster movie sorry i, got a mm, 
I don't remember. Yeah. We're going to have to look that up. There was Olympus Has Fallen, right? But I think that was Jamie Foxx. Ah. I don't remember. Necessary data to address the problem. There's no need to pen. That's all for now. You just lied to the whole country. I wonder if Neil deGrasse Tyson has watched this movie yet. Mm. I don't know if it's true or not, mm. but he watched Titanic and then posted that the when they looked at the stars, mm -hmm. it wasn't where the stars would have been on that date. Mm. James Cameron did it, right? Yeah, yeah. He re-released it <laughs> with, the with his stars. consultation to get the stars correct. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Still working on the Mustang. Yeah. The moon and nights are going to scratch it with a key. Dang. Moon or no moon. Got to get this hot rod working. <laughs> That's true. He doesn't even care. Yeah, He's he just like, I got to. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, it already fell. <laughs> Come on. Hands up. Easy. Easy. I accidentally threw away some very important papers. Orbital distance. I've heard about this. <laughs> That's those are words. <laughs> See, British now he's bagels. British again. Yeah, I think he was doing an American accent to like impersonate whatever doctor. Oh, to impersonate that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, or I someone. thought he was just a washed up doctor working in a drive-in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, he was a janitor or something at the beginning. I forget. It's got like three jobs. Well, that was quick. They like uber blacked to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Stand by for stage two. The Java. Can we talk? Why bother? Yeah, they went to a like, whole other location to talk. Like, How did they get into a closed diner? I think that's the diner that he works at with the baloney madnesses. <laughs> The Spumoni Man. <laughs> I'm going to start naming all of my sandwiches mm, Madness. madness yeah. <laughs> BLT Madness. Space Madness. You remember Ren and Stimpy, the Space Madness episode? I don't remember that one specifically, but that show was fucked up. I remember that. <laughs> we got another problem. The moon's orbit is shifting again. What the hell? Some kind of it's an Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> oh shit. Sheesh. We lost the signal from the camera and his eyeballs. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's not a Roland the Emmerich movie without a giant tsunami. I like how just boring old apartment buildings are exploding. <laughs> yeah. Initial projection of the moon's path over Earth. Wait, isn't that the wallpaper of the floor pattern in The Shining? It is. Yeah. Noise. Ah, sandals with socks? Mm-hmm. Looks like he got that outfit at like a party city. He just went to the hippie <laughs> section, plucked it out. How is he there? He's, I I don't know. It's in the same building. Wait, Wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on. The diner <laughs> is on the second floor. What? I'm so confused. Quick, to NASA headquarters, and they yeah. go down one floor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's watch that on a loop, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just gonna quit? What do you want me to do? I want you to help us figure out what the hell this thing is so we can beat it. Nah. If you're serious about going down the NASA rabbit hole, you should pay a visit to Holman Field. Here's your clearance. This badge has your name on it. I can't use this. <laughs> oh, shit. Now yeah. I'm Albert Hutchinson. Yeah, this is your ID badge, man. <laughs> I gotta redo my lease. Here's your new driver's license. Here's your new house keys. It's like, I don't need any of this, dude. You've had three divorces and you have eight kids. <laughs> Alimony's on the second. Here's your toupee. Here's your. 
blockbuster card. It's not worth anything. <laughs> Here's your necktie. Where did you get down here? <laughs> we could go <laughs> yeah. on that ride. Yeah. <laughs> you waiting for something? <laughs> By Igor. That's yeah, the crypt keeper. <laughs> what are you doing? Holding field? You're not supposed to have that. Hey, Whoa. it's uh that guy. <laughs> Forget his name, man. Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland, yes. Yeah. He starred in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh shit. Yeah, the old one. Hmm. I live down here, by the way. Yeah, what the hell happens to people working in the records department in NASA? Good lord. <laughs> they don't have lights? Cot. No, no lights. No food. They just hunt for rats in the basement. <laughs> you ever watch the IT crowd? I've seen it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. the guy who lives in the room and yeah. all he does is make sure the lights are blinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't even know what they do. <laughs> You're telling me that the mole was effectively the biggest cover up in human history you said that if we can destroy this thing we have a theory that the moon might return. was that that good president Ooh. no appreciate your effort but this is now a military operation we'll hold it for me we don't have any more of these why not because they're all in museums <laughs> and um oh That's it. They're going to fly it out of the museum. <laughs> oh, man. How far along with the testing? NASA isn't cleared for another mission. How about you let me worry about that? Just give me the keys to the old spaceship. <laughs> I'll fire that baby fire up. Fire up, yeah. Put some gas in it. What the hell is this? What? It's up to KC House to handle. I'll let you step Yeah, because you want to shake somebody's hand when they wipe <laughs> it first. That's a good sign, yeah. <laughs> The moon is falling. Exactly. I think whatever happened all those years ago is directly responsible for what's happening right now. Technological life form. Okay. No way. Let's make sure we play that footage at least five more times in, in this movie. <laughs> they spent a lot of money on the VFX. Yeah. I forgot that that happened yeah. until they showed me again. <laughs> Here you think I'm personally. If I do this, I'm going to need something in return. <laughs> Macaroni madness. <laughs> Whenever I'm just going to say whatever I want. <laughs> Whenever there's a lull, I'm just going to make something madness. Yeah, do it. <laughs> At least somebody's on the same page. Well, that didn't take long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We need to walk you through the army procedure. I'm an astronaut, not a soldier. Thanks, Dr. Bones. <laughs> Using a remote trigger. Then push this down and hold. Thank you for giving me a... Wasn't he supposed to... You can thank your dad. Okay. Wait, when did he get is... out of jail? Why is he going to the launch site? I don't get it. Funsies. <laughs> Got nowhere else to be, I guess. He's still wearing his fucking <laughs> yeah. orange jumpsuit. You're going to take a bomb into space. And why are you even here? You hate NASA. I want you to have a world you can grow up in where you could be a better man than me. Now go sit in the break room <laughs> for the next few days. We need you to hotwire the rocket ship. <laughs> you know, use your uh, yeah. skills. <laughs> okay. If we survive this, pizza party! <laughs> yeah! Where you can die with him there. Yeah. Okay. Will the sun end up on the ship? Yes or no? On the ship? On the spaceship. I hope he, like, smuggles his, himself on. I, like, yeah, you, I, yeah. I'm going to say yes. And then he's like, what are you doing here, son? And then they have a bonding moment while the thing explodes behind them. <laughs> You fly, and I'll navigate. Just like old times. Yeah, old times, if you remember, <laughs> were not so great. Yeah, it did not work out very well. No. 
We're gonna get hungry. <laughs> Need an onboard chef cooking up those sandwiches in the back, dude. Why would he need a gun? Here's a gun, but don't violate your parole. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a convicted felon. <laughs> Where'd you get these suits from? A thrift shop? Early Apollo. No electronics. They should be okay. Should be. It's encouraging. Yeah, let's mention the early Apollo missions right now. <laughs> Good for morale, yeah. Please take care of my mom. Of course. Wait, who is this? That's his mom. We have to hurry. Oh, on the phone. You mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who? Well, if we know anything from Hitchhiker's Guide, the dolphins have already left. Mm -hmm. They bounced. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Uh, gravity wave? <laughs> Wait a minute. Otherwise known as... A wave. Yeah. I don't. That is not how gravity works in the slightest. It's got like an area of effect where it just stops and then. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you Did see he just that? Hop? Yeah. He just bounced around. <laughs> Why wouldn't gravity be already lifting it up? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, they did say that the gravity was going to, like, yeet the right? thing up. It's yeeting all the water. It's just, oh, there we go. Whee! And they got a car wash on the way out. Mm. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> she was just like, hey, take care of my son. And then she stays behind to look at the giant wave. <laughs> this is trajectory madness. <laughs> Bad joke. Don't don't include that in the edit. Cut that. Cut that. Yeah. Cut that. <laughs> Which guarantees because I said that they're gonna leave it in. <laughs> Didn't they say something about no electronics? No. The Amish design a great spaceship. <laughs> and they can assemble it in half an hour flat. It's yeah. amazing. Hi, sir. Uh, this is Brian. I have your son, but don't worry. I also have a gun. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger ship. <laughs> Think you could give me a lift? Oh. So these thugs were hiding on a mountain road in Colorado <laughs> to mug people. Yeah, that's their spot, I guess. <laughs> High traffic. Uh -oh. Hit the brakes. Don't say break. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't need that. It's missing a major component, but all right. Oh my god. Rickety what? old barn? Yeah, into Doing this rusty great. shed. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be like Ready Player One and like Star Fox shows up. That would be awesome. Turn this whole movie around. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> On airplane mode. Oh, you know, in a few hundred years when space travel is like a regular thing, there mm -hmm. will have to be a shuttle mode. Right. Yeah, I suppose there will be. Yeah. Probably still going to be unsalted peanuts, though. Oh, yeah. And those Delta cookies that they give out. You know, if you take the Biscoff ones and you dip mm -hmm. it in your coffee, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, like Biscoff cookies are generally pretty good, but the Delta ones, I don't know why, but they taste like cardboard. It's just... <laughs> nasty stuff unless you're gonna sponsor us delta and then hey mm. we love delta Ugh. those cookies don't taste like hot dog shit at all they're so good not <laughs> depressing <laughs> come on, come on, come on. smile you son of a bitch <laughs> Oh, because it's uh, electronic. Oh. 
Man, that thing's cool looking. Guy's a scientist, and he's like, okay, I can take the batteries out, or I can smash it. <laughs> yeah. There's no off button, apparently. But it was in airplane mode. But his battery, or his watch would have a battery, right? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't this moon snake sense that? It would smell the watch battery or something? Oh, well, maybe it's one of those, like, uranium watches. Yeah. But this is the guy who sells a Lexus. Yeah. Has a freaking mountain <laughs> bunker. Fortress, yeah. Back in the car. That's fine, yeah. Journey to the center of the mm. moon. Moon. <laughs> Can't see shit. Turn on the high beams, dude. There Hit. you go. <laughs> Hit the brights. Guys, I gotta turn on the electronics. Weren't there lights inside the cabin just a second ago? Was that candle? Steam powered? Oh, okay. Those are <laughs> lots of candles. Just like Beggar's Canyon back home. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a white dwarf star inside the moon or something. Okay, Inception. Yeah. It's powered by dubstep. Damn you. <laughs> you did all this for us? Oh, you shouldn't have. These fucking guys, man. Don't let us stop you. Let's go. Is it the same guy? I think so, yeah. Bunch of menaces. <laughs> oh, guns on the ground. Right now. What's that show, the duck people? Duck Dynasty? Duck Dynasty, yeah. yeah that's, that's where they're from. That's these guys. Yeah, he's very irresponsible if you're right. Technically those guys who were robbing us. Then we robbed them back and they were assholes. Wait, did they just have to remind each other of what literally just happened? Sure. A lot going on, you know? Yeah. Moon's falling, there's family drama. What do we do now? I don't know, but those guys <laughs> followed us. Yeah. And, and then if we... you remember earlier, they robbed us and then yeah. we robbed them. And now we're in the car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is car? <clears throat> Everyone's got pierogi madness, dude. It's an <laughs> epidemic. You're that Oscar Mayer madness. <laughs> That's a white dwarf. Yeah. No one was looking at you anyway. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not wanting to look at you. That's fine. <laughs> what? Fields? So he's saying there are farms down there? Yeah, under the glass, whatever, I think. <laughs> I'm just expecting one of those blue Wobaga from <laughs> Halo. <laughs> Wait, how is that thing working again? He smashed the living shit out of it. That's a great question. Yeah, it worked before to throw it off. And I have no idea. Like a glove. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was not a problem three seconds ago. Mm -hmm. They breathed all the air. They breathed it. <laughs> Are there humans? Is this some kind of secret, like, Nazi lab or something? <laughs> Christopher Walken mm -hmm. walks out. Welcome to my Whoa. Welcome summer home. To the moon. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I put googly eyes was, on the moon. I was born here. <laughs> Your daddy hid this moon <laughs> up his ass. <laughs> Oh Jesus. You know the oh, earth being two. destroyed is not enough. No, these hillbillies. They had to have some <laughs> yeah. hillbillies chase yeah. them throughout the whole movie. Mm -hmm. Give me that Lexus. Oh, dude, are you kidding? That's so funny. <laughs> this whole thing is sponsored by Lexus, yeah. for sure. The Lexus ES300 with <laughs> Warp 9 yeah. technology. Yeah. You know, I got this thing for a great deal, too. Only 29% APR. <laughs> <laughs> with 0% financing yeah. for up to 60 months. <laughs> dude, what is going on? Quick warp speed, my 1973 Ford F-150. <laughs> what? what? Why do they need oxygen? Did they like take oxygen tanks I think from so, the yeah. They're fire loading station it. or something? The, see, the thing about a Lexus is that it has so much cargo space. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Dude. Now, with additional oxygen and the suspension, <laughs> yeah, I, it's a really it's you know, a can we pause vehicle. this movie right now? I need to go get a fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. Lexus. <laughs> go to your Lexus dealership now. <laughs> Shit, survive moonfall only in a Lexus. You need to find shelter immediately. Gravity. The inside of this moon base is a Lexus dealership. <laughs> He's currently signing paperwork to buy a Lexus. <laughs> Whatever this place is built out of, one thing's for sure. This is going to be a December to remember. <laughs> Sales event. You're about to enter a world of savings. I knew this was a trap. Welcome to the Lexus Singularity. <laughs> Oh, it's getting troned. I gave that to you the day before I left on my last mission. When I came back, everything changed. When the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Wait, what happened to that kid? He just <laughs> left the movie, didn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Where's that kid? There's like six kids in this movie. He's just missing. <laughs> Jesus. Ancestors were once a thriving civilization. They were so advanced, they expanded from their home planet into to a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Long ago. Never have a child deliver exposition. I can't. And wars were only memories of long bygone times. If an actual kid were explaining this, he'd be like, you know, when when you uh, and when you when you, you when um <laughs> when you uh. Do you ever think that and and when you in in all of their daily lives AI AI intelligence their future seem limitless Is Haley Joel Osment gonna be in this? Their own creation turned against them. Refusing to be in yeah, don't keep that in your alarm clock, maybe. <laughs> Man, I gotta get all the holocrons out of my house ASAP. <laughs> yeah, we invented the nature of evil and decided to sleep right next to it. <laughs> For fun! Yeah. Ship is just manifesting people he definitely doesn't want relationships with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These armored vessels were designed to search the universe for ideal conditions. That's no moon. <laughs> but only one of them, your moon, was deployed in time before the last of your ancestors were discovered and annihilated. Man, this is a lot. Jesus. So that one day 
humans could be reborn. <laughs> so that one day you could invent a super vehicle greater than all others, <laughs> the Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> With self parallel parking <laughs> technology. <laughs> ah, gravity wave! <laughs> Your ancestors seeded it with their own genetic signature. Don't say seeded. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> what do you want from me? Your Mustang. <laughs> Ready for what? We need a human to lure the swarm away from the core so the moon will return to its orbit. We need you, Brian, to join the fight. <laughs> oh, man. What happened? <laughs> they downloaded all of the Twilight movies into him in three seconds. All at once. That's too much for any mind Oof. to handle. <laughs> He's got Twilight madness. Oh, no. If they can fix our lander, why can't they do anything about the damn swarm? They fixed... Mm-hmm. Their ship. But not everything. Our forefathers created artificial intelligence that wiped them all out. Forefathers? Same DNA. Like yep. Like Abraham Washington. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Say forefathers. Hold on. Sorry. We've got company. Oh, never mind. This guy just got an upgrade. They're helping us kill this thing. If they can do that, they can whip up a few sandwiches. Am I right? Come on. <laughs> a little peckish. So if we're going to kill this thing, we better do it right now. No, that can't happen. That'll destroy the moon's core. I got a plan. Wait, but the moon's core is a star. Right. So a nuke, a nuke is versus not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah. A star is just a giant nuke exploding all the time. Uh, yes. <laughs> it, it is exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Colorado specifically is not having a great time. They're not really having a great time now. Yeah. <laughs> True. My battery's low. She's one of the fucking aliens. She's no. the AI, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, who is she? Who's... I don't know. I have, cannot keep track of the kids. <laughs> so many kids in this movie. Except for the ones that they already introduced and then forgot about. So wait, why wasn't the moon just defending itself oh, yeah. in the first place? It has automatic guns that it wasn't using. Okay. Where's Daddy? Taking a nap. <laughs> Tom! Hey, when was the last time you saw your daddy? I don't know. Yeah, why did they split up in the first place? He's coming back. Oxygen is coming, coming back. back. The moon give it back. The moon's entered the atmosphere over the North Atlantic. General, T minus 20. To what? <laughs> Until <Their> <laughs> lunch break? <laughs> I don't know why they're waiting so long to launch these nukes, right? Doug, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> we're on really good terms it's totally amicable you don't understand <laughs> we just started playing board games again <laughs> can't compromise that no -uh. <laughs> i can't do it my ex-wife is up there yeah. <laughs> sweet sweet destruction porn this is the uh this is the money shot right here yeah yes Wait, where is that? I think that's New York. Yeah. Joe, I need you to take over while I get the EMP ready. Oh, it's a hatchback. Yeah. I was... Guess so. Should really get like a rear view mirror or something. Some wood paneling on yeah, the outside. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> One of us has to stay in there or it won't work. No. No, no, no. Take... My cyber son told me that. <laughs> we have to finish this. Or that thing's going to finish us. If the moon's not with us. It's against us. <laughs> yeah, it is a hatchback. It's got yeah. a rear hatch. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. <laughs> You've been and always will be 
my friend. <laughs> you underestimated us. No! Aww. Oh. Damn. I was just starting to like him. <laughs> <laughs> like a few more hours away from like a couple more hours, yeah. Yeah. Dude, these guys cannot catch a break. Yeah, that sucks, man. Now there's a train. Oh, here's a fucking train. Now we need a plane, and we'll have planes, <laughs> trains, and automobiles. Whoa! <laughs> yes. The power of friendship. <laughs> sure. This all makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand mm. what's happening. Mm -hmm. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Okay, so they blew up the snake, right? Yep. And that... Then the moon was like, okay, peace. All right, we're good. Yeah. We're good now. You know, if Earth gets a second chance, I think we deserve one. Oh, brother. Are they going to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Like that. Oh. Come on. Do it for the vine. Mm -hmm. Wait, how the hell did that end yeah, up on top of Everest? Yeah. Wait, did they just walk there? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? They are wherever they need to be, I think. It's just... Do you think he's actually dead? The guy in the explosion? I, I Maybe he's now assimilated and he yeah. is the moon. Yeah, I think he's like moon yeah. lord. <laughs> moon lord? Moon king. <laughs> Come on, dude. He's out there making oh. sandwich madness in space. <laughs> he's cooking uh, fucking pierogies up there. <laughs> yes! Did someone order a spicy chicken sandwich madness? That was bad. Don't <laughs> keep that. Cut it. Please. <laughs> Moon Lord. What's this cat? Fuzz Aldrin? That's amazing. <laughs> I need to go get a new cat right now yeah. so I can name it that. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Consciousness. You're part of the moon now. Yes! Part of the moon. <laughs> we saved the Earth. From the White Walkers. Who are you? <laughs> Get started with what? Huh? <gasps> Opening oh! the first deli in space. <laughs> the moon fell. But it didn't, though. Yeah. It, it descended. Right. Yeah. It's... But it didn't fully it fall. It didn't fully fall, no. It's a moon tease. It got close. Moon tease. <laughs> moon descent. Yeah, man. Moon madness. <laughs> that was uh, that was entertaining. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, like, these films are not intended to be good. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. intended to be fun. Yeah, absolutely. As long as, and I, I had fun watching it, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, and it, it kind of plays into the same tropes that are really common throughout a lot of his movies where it's just like, there's this family drama that's always happening and like estrangement from the parents mm, and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like in uh, Day After Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Dennis Quaid and his son. Uh, John Cusack had a thing with his daughter, I think, yes. in 2012 or something like that. Yeah. It's it's really common with these types of like big disaster movies. To There's always got to be some kind of familial element to it because- yeah. Otherwise, it's like, eh, is there like cares? a some sort of like Freudian thing going on there where it's like Maybe. estranged fathers are are like natural disasters of the mind for the children? I don't, oh, wow. What? That's some deep analysis. <laughs> there. Those are for the college boys to Dude, figure out. I don't know. College boy. College boy. <laughs> Give me all your emeralds. <laughs> Oh man, those fucking hillbillies! <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Maybe they're in the sequel. Yeah, that is yet to be made. Yeah, they followed him to the moon. <laughs> and they were like, yeah. "Hand over the 
holographic rocks. grandma now. <laughs> that would be funny if she was in the post credits scene. Like she's being held captive by the holographic hillbillies. <laughs> they made it. Yeah. In the, the yeah. fifth dementia. <laughs> fifth dementia. <laughs> We're extra dimensional in the sense that we don't remember shit. <laughs> the old retiree has to come out of retirement for one last job or whatever. Yeah. It's always some gruff dude who rides motorcycles and yeah. And Donald Sutherland, who also, by the way, what the hell was that? He was in this movie for 30 seconds. He lived in the basement. He probably cost half the budget of the movie to even cast him. Yeah. He lived in the basement and he didn't have to stand. And I think that that was probably what they, I don't know. It was a weird casting choice for a 30 second bit part. Yeah. I think uh, the most important lesson of this movie was that Lexuses now have warp drives. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know that you can get a Lexus for 15% t- yeah. uh, APR? That was, I think, the main takeaway. The main message of this movie was buy a Lexus. I should look that up to see if I could find a Lexus Moonfall commercial. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Welcome to the next level. What's the plan? Save the moon. Save Earth. When the world is counting on you. Let me put this baby in the warp speed. Buckle up. Everybody, hang on. Go, go! And enjoy the ride. Woo! 